For the Stitch in Time exhibition, I created a set of embroideries to showcase events from the lives of 19th century convict women. Making the embroideries for the exhibition started with the convict records. The convict records are special ledgers, like the conduct records or the marriage registers, where any information on convicts was collected in minute detail. For all Tasmanian female convicts, I analyzed information from the convict records to create a comprehensive timeline visualization. It shows all the events recorded for each convict on one straight line, giving an overview of a woman's life as understood from the data. What often stands out most in these timelines are single, particularly compelling pieces of information, like Mary Lambert being fined for having an unlicensed dog. I have used these discoveries as inspiration to design the drawings for the embroideries. I usually begin with a rough pencil sketch, which is then refined. Next, the drawings are digitized and the timeline data is converted to a line that is integrated into the digital drawing. The drawing is then converted into a stitch plan. Here, the background shading and lettering are also added. Finally, the drawing is ready to be embroidered. I used our lab's computer-controlled Husqvarna embroidery machine to embroider the designs. The fabric needs to be hooped up, the right embroidery thread inserted, and off it goes. No images of the convict women in this exhibition have survived, but I have used their data, originally collected in an act of surveillance, as inspiration to create a new image to remember them by.